It was dark already when I sat down by the lake, which is close to my parents' place. It's a quarry pond, and the water is usually warm. When I heard some, when I heard somebody say, the world has changed. I turn around and kind of make sure, make sure the circumstances and if I should be in fear, in fear. Make sure. Make, make sure. Are you going to rob or protect me? I check straight to rob or protect me. me. Does someone hold a gun to your head or not? Power can be anything. Anything. I ask, where do you live? Not so far from here, but far enough. And he doesn't seem surprised at all. That we meet here, in this odd nature, in an odd hour. I live in the city center. Why did you come here? In the solitude, he wants to know. I enjoy jumping, jumping from the stone over there. Can you see? I'm coming once a while to test if I'm still brave enough to spring, you know. Jumping. <laughs> you know? My wife, she died many years ago. She wasn't brave enough. I choose my words carefully. I ask, how did she die? Death by hanging. She had lost hope. The most... What did she hope? I wonder. She hoped that she could forget. Brave enough. What? What? What did? What, what did she want to? What? Did, what? What did to forget? To forget. What did she want to forget? He turns around and looks straight in my face. What's the most violence what? you can imagine? What did she want to forget? And I answer. React. War. Rape. Hurt the weekend in this row, I guess, and he nods on top of it. Oh, fuck. Mm.